name's Steven Davis. Uh, students usually call me Stevo. I've been here since 2009, and uh, I like I build under the name EIR Guitars. So I came here from Seattle in 2009, right? And before that, I worked in a butcher shop for a long time, which was another trade. Apparently, I'm a tradesman, and uh, I didn't expect to be a teacher. I didn't ex I didn't know I was going to be good at it, honestly, because I'd never really done it before, but. I, apparently I have the temperament for it, and I really enjoy it. I love the one-on-one -on -one interactions with the students. You know, coming to a school like Roberto Van, it's going to change your life. You're going to have this family of people, once you leave here, that you never knew existed. And all of them are extremely hard workers, and they're all really knowledgeable people. So one of the things about Luthery is that you're gonna make a lot of mistakes. It's inevitable, especially while you're here, and you kind of have to embrace that the idea that you're you're gonna goof something up. You gotta kind of like let it go. And one of the benefits of being an instructor here is that I see a lot of things go wrong, and that's one of the reasons why it's good to come to a trade school instead of just trying to learn how to build guitars from YouTube videos in your garage, for instance. Because when you goof up, who's going to be there to teach you how to fix it? I'd say that's a good majority of Luthery is like learning how to impeccably fix little things that go wrong throughout the process. And I know it's hard to have that blind faith. So you gotta just you gotta let go and trust that we have seen a lot of things. You know, we've seen and we've been through the process so many times. It doesn't really become any easier for probably the first couple of years because you keep challenging yourself to do a little bit better and a little bit better. And I know for me personally, I knew that by the time I was comfortable with my skill level, that I knew that I could build a really high quality instrument. I, I set a target for building a guitar for one of my favorite guitar players, Martin Hagstrom from Meshuggah. And so I contacted him and we talked about it and I designed an eight string guitar specifically for him. I went, you know, it was the first eight string that I had designed and I was really pleased with, you know, it took me like three years probably to come up with this shape that I was really, really happy with. It didn't, it wasn't while I was a student, I didn't just like pull something out, you know, out of my keister and it was like the perfect guitar. Took that same shape and I was able to build some guitars for another one of my favorite bands called Phil Jarta. They're also from Sweden. Something about Sweden that really gets me. I try to build really cla like classy metal is what I would call it. It's sexy lines and really sleek, very clean. A lot of it's pretty simple, but super effective. You know, black and white is like the simplest of artist tricks, the contrast, and I, almost everything I do is in, almost in black and white. For I just can't get away from it. It's just so effective and, it, you know, it works and it's striking. So one of the greatest things about Luthery in general is that it is so multifaceted and you literally continue to dig deeper and deeper and continue to learn forever because by the time you think you might have gotten to the end you probably forgot something from the beginning you gotta go back and <laughs> it's great to wake up every day and know that there's gonna be something that's gonna happen today that's gonna be a learning experience for no matter how long I've been doing this which keeps you humble and it's also a lot of fun that foundation that you get just from assembling something from the from the bottom you know you just start with a piece of wood and you the, turns into a, a guitar somehow, that that gives you this great foundation to build on. And like I said, you won't even realize how much you know once you leave here just from the process of the building. So Luthery and the school in general, it's definitely one of those situations where you're going to get out of it whatever you put into it. Like I can only, for the most part, you're everybody that comes here is already technically an adult. So I can only push you so far as an outside source. The people that are really going to be successful are the ones that, that have the work ethic and attitude. That's one of the things, uh, my parting words, almost every class is, you know, you can, if you work hard and have a positive attitude, you'll make it in pretty much whatever you do, but especially in this job.